What's up guys, welcome back to the React and Golang Calorie Tracker project series. Here, um, we have created a pop-up in the last video when you want to change the ingredients. Uh, but what if we want to change the entire entry? Right, for the ingredients, we have called this function called change ingredient for entry. We have not created that function yet. We will create that function. Uh, but what if we want to change the entire entry for that? We will uh, create a pop-up now and we'll also be calling a function for changing single entry. And both of these functions then we will build in the next video. So today's video is about building this pop-up quickly from scratch. So we'll have a model. Modal, sorry, it's, it's not a model, it's modal. <laughs> We'll have a model for changing the entry. So we'd have change entry dot change. And um, it'll have an on height property. To begin with, the change is false and ID is zero. And this whole thing is centered. Now, in this model, this model has a header. It's going to have a header. So it'll say model dot header, which will also have a close button. And the header is will have the model title. Title basically has change entry event. In the sense, you want to change the entire entry for the, uh, <coughs> like change the entire entry for the calories, the entries that you do with the dish and ingredients and all of that stuff. If you want to change that whole thing, this is the uh, way forward. So we have model uh, header, and then we'll have a model dot body so I'm having this whole red line issue it's easily fixable because it should be in the div we want to return that in the div so in the model body you will have form dot group and if you're changing the whole entry, that means all of the values will change, right? There's only one squiggly line here. That's because we have not defined this function. Okay, so ignore that for now. Okay, coming back. So this form needs to have all the entries, right? It'll have for dish, ingredients, calories, and so on. So we'll create form.label first. We'll have a dish. And uh, then multiple labels actually will be label for dish. They will be labeled for uh, ingredients, for calories, and for fat. So I'll go ahead and start changing that quickly. This will be ingredients out here. This will be calories. And then for the fat. Now, with the label, there's also going to be the values, which will be in form control. It will have an on change event where you want to say new entry dot dish initialize the value to event dot target dot value. And you want to copy and paste it for ingredients. And you want to copy and paste it for calories, copy and paste it for fat. And here, all you have to do is just go ahead and change these values. So you'll say ingredients. Here it will be calories. And here it will be fat. The only thing that changes here is that it, the type of this is going to be number. And you'll have to make that change to the add new entry area as well because we had not even for fat earlier we had not said that it is going to be of type number whereas it should 
specifically say that otherwise by mistake we might end up, end up adding some text here and Golang at the back end is not expecting text it's expecting a number and that will lead to issues so you want to have that and outside this form group outside this form group there are going to be two buttons button one oh yeah so the button one what it does is it has to change and button two we know now that it's going to be for cancelling so we'll have cancel so button one will have an on click property change single entry we don't have this function yet but we'll, we'll create it and this has an on click set change entry so we'll change we'll put change as false and we'll put id as zero so if you don't want to update this and you just want to cancel it we want to take it back to the original state which was this so we'll set the change entry to the original state and now uh, the only thing that's left is to create this change ingredient for entry function and the change single entry function and this is what we'll tackle in the next video thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video guys